Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. Today we are talking about the IP header. So a IP packet starts with the so-called header, which contains information how to route or where do this header should go. Yeah? And we will have a look on what is inside this header. Yeah? Usually a header is 20 bytes long. Yeah? There are options which can blow up this header pretty much. I will, I will uh, talk about this. So usually we have uh, 20 bytes. Here I have already drawn those 20 bytes. So we have uh, 160 bits yeah, are 20 bytes. And what are inside those bits? This we try to find out or Actually, this is what I'm going to tell you. Yeah. So the first, the first four bits here. This is the version. Okay. So this is the version. Version. Currently, there is only four or six. Yeah. IP44 or IP46 version 6. This starts pretty much with this IP46 header. We will talk about this. Looks pretty much the same. Uh, at least the start is the same. Uh, so that we can, that somebody knows or that every hop knows how to interpret the following data. Uh, the next thing here, uh, next thing. is the IHL, the Internet Header Length. This gives the header net in uh, uh, so one means the header is 32 bit to 64 bit yeah. and usually we have in here 5 yeah, because this would then mean uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 is, is this 160 bit which are those 20 bytes all right so it's always times whatever value is inside there times uh, times 32 yeah, or 8 in, in bytes. So this means the maximum header length is 15 because the maximum value is 15 here with 4 bits. Yeah, 15 times 32 bit. Yeah. This would be the maximum header length an IP version 4 packet is supporting. Internet header length. Yeah. Then the next Thing. Which color? This color. Uh, up to 13. So here. This here. This is the so called DSCP. In previous versions it had a different meaning, but currently it's defined as DSCP. This means differentiated. service code point so this actually gives just a number which gives which puts this packet into a class this is nothing to do with priority so higher numbers does not mean it has higher priority it just says okay this is class one this is class two this is class three and so on so you can classify your ip traffic with the help of this. The next ones, the next ones are ECP, next two actually. ECP and ECP 
means explicit congestion notification. So here a hub, a router can set the ECB bit yeah, and say, okay, hey, we have almost a congestion. Yeah? Warning, warning, congestion, warning. Yeah? That's it. The next, the next part here, yeah? up to up 16 to 31. So the full, full length here, full 16 bytes, uh, 16 bits. This is the total length. In bytes. So the maximum length of bytes is uh, 65,535. That's the maximum length of an IP packet in byte. If something below does not allow that much, that big of a byte, for instance Ethernet, then we have to fragment those things. Fragmenting I will explain shortly, in a short time. Then the next thing here is the identification. Is this here? It's actually going up to here, identification. 16. Identification. So this is just a number. The number of the packet. So this is packet number whatever. Yeah? ID. ID of the packet. Hmm? Then we have some things which do belong together. So we have flags here, three flags. These are flags. And then we have the fragment offset. Both doors in this reddish color, slightly different red, yeah, because those two things belong together. Yeah. Fragment offset. Okay, so uh, flags, the first flag, 48, always zero, reserved for future use. 49 is don't fragment. If this flag is set, this IP packet is not allowed to be fragmented. Yeah? And this 50, bit 50, this is uh, more fragments. And the fragment of set. Is a uh, start point. Or fragment uh, in 64 bit blocks, 8 byte. So, what does it mean? If a, a router now um, recognizes, okay, the next hop, the maximum transfer unit of the next hop is not allowing that big of a packet, we have to fragment it. So the identification number of all fragments will stay the same, because it was originally that IP packet. And uh, if there are more fragments, we will send, the, we will, the, the first one will have fragment of set zero, yeah? the next one will have fragment of set whatever, 
the next one will have fragment of set two times whatever and so on. Yeah? So we will we will separate this into equally sized, usually equally sized fragments. All right? And the fragment of set contains where this packet belongs. Uh, we have a total packet and we are fragmenting this in, in parts and the fragment of set tells where is the start of exactly this part. And if we, this is a fragmented packet, we will set more fragments. Unless, because th th this is not a tricky part, we only remember where this fragment has started, but not how many, how long was the original message. Because this total length and bytes and so on, this is then just calculated just for the fragment. So this fragment of set just tells where to put, but we don't know how many fragments there are. So in the last fragment, this more fragments flag is not set. Then we know, okay, this is a fragmented packet and it was the last one. If the more fragment bits is zero and fragment of set is zero, it's the only packet. If the more fragment bits is zero and there is a fragment of sets, there must be other fragments before. Right? Why is this so implemented that way? Because even a fragmented packet may come to a point inside the network where it has to be fragmented again. So we fragment this and just have to save the offsets. The first offset will stay the same and the offset of the second fragment will then be calculated. So, a fragment can be fragmented somewhere else, and so on. So, and this fragment of says always tells at which, at which position this fragment belongs in 8 byte counts. Fragment 0 is at 0, fragment 1 is at 8 byte, fragment 2 is at 16 byte, starts at 16 bytes, and so on. Tuck, 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 tuck. This is the fragment offset. And so we can separate, fragment, uh, either an IP packet uh, on, on its way through the network and in the end we can find all the things together because all fragments which have the same identification number will belong the same, uh, will, will uh, belong together, so belong together and this fragment of sales set tells us in which order. Hmm. Yeah. Fragment offset. The next, the next one is time to live. It's here. 64 to 71. 8 bit. This is called TTL. Time to live. Yeah. Whenever this field is reaching zero, the packet will not get forwarded. The reason behind is if there is some error inside the network, some routing table error or something, and the packet is going in circles inside the network from router to router, router and so on, it's going, it's circling around, it would simply congest the network. Yeah. If there are more packets and more packets and more packets which do this, it will congest. So there's a time to live. Actually, right now it actually acts as a hop counter. So every hop will reduce this TTL by one. And if it's reached zero, it will, the packet will be deleted. So this should prevent these long running packets, packets and that's it. The next things here, this is the protocol. So it's just indicating which protocol is a path. Yeah. Protocol. Number of the protocol of upper layer. So of layer 4. Yeah. If this is for instance a TCP protocol, then this would be uh, 6. 
Yeah? If this would be an UDP protocol, uh, this would be 17. So there's a list of a list of numbers and so on in the in the in the standard, and here we can see what's underneath. Yeah. Then we have the header checksum. Next part here. Which color do you use? Maybe dark blue again. <laughs> Header checksum. Confused by all the colors. Actually, it's defined by one's complement and adding all one's complement of all 16 byte uh, parts and so on, and then uh, building the one's complement, and it should be 11111 and so on. Yeah. Uh, so the header checksum is always raised by one. Why? Because this DTL is lowered by one, so the checksum must be raised by one. And actually, since in every hop this must be generated, in every hop, theoretically, every hop had to check the header checksum and check if the header is transferred correctly. And since every hop is reducing this time to live, the header checksum must be incremented by one. More than this takes time. Uh, this is why modern implementations uh, just don't care about the checksum. They simply they simply raise this by one. <laughs> this is what modern routers do to get a high throughput. Uh, so get the packets further, get the packets further. We will not check the header. Actually, this is also the reason why in version 6 this header checksum is no longer used because nobody is using it right now. Okay, and the last two things which are remaining, I said only two things, because actually the next thing is already that block, 32-bit. What might 32-bit mean? We had said the IP version 4 address is 32-bit, so it's an address, and this is the source address of this packet. All right. And the next, the next part is the destination address. And those are all mandatory things inside the IP version 4. And then the last things are options. Like I said, maximum options, which that, that so the header can be blown up yeah, by those options, which are not mandatory. This is why we have this internet header length here, and the internet header length can maximum be 15. Yeah? And we have then 15 times 32 bit, 15 times 8, so 120. Yeah? 15 times 8. Oh, it's actually 4, 4, 32 bit are 4 byte, <laughs> 32 bit are only 4 byte, so it's 15 times 4, so it's 60. 60 bytes is the maximum length of the header, and this might be filled with options. Yeah? So there might be, for instance, in example, timestamps, or security information. There are some options defined, very often they are not used. Yeah, so that's the IP version 4 header. Now we know how this routing is, is working, how fragmenting is working, I just explained. Maybe not in detail, you can think about that in a in if you have time to, to think about uh, my words, As like already mentioned several times, we are mechanical engineers and not network experts, but we should know what is going on. 
Internet Protocol version 4. Yeah. Next standard, Internet Protocol version 6. Yeah. We will discuss about Internet Protocol version 6 in next video. What are the differences and so on. Yeah. Next video, IP version 6 basics. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.